Hello, I'm back with the savory, tasty, special spaghetti stir fry. It's so good. It's such a crowd pleaser. I tell you, you're really going to love this. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit on that subscribe button and the notification bell. And to my OGs, thank you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> All right, let's dive right into this recipe. I have cut some stewing beef into thin strips. If you're using steak, you can skip this process completely. Just go ahead and marinate as I do and stir fry. But because I'm using stewing beef, I'm going to pre-cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes. I have seasoned with some stock cubes, curry powder, salt, some dried rosemary, and I'm adding some of that, my umami Asian seasoning, just a little bit, and some smoked paprika cover mix all together cover and set on fire let it cook in its own juices okay <laughs> don't forget to give this video a thumbs up okay so here we got our pasta water ready and we're using our nigerian made golden Penny pasta spaghetti, the slim one, for this recipe. So once the water begins to simmer like so, we're going to go ahead and just add our pasta into our water, add some salt, add some vegetable oil. Now this meat is cooking nicely. Look at that. It has really so much juices. So um, once it's 20 minutes, I'll straighten that aside and we'll keep the rest of the um, broth to reincorporate into our pasta. So tasty. Sausages, tin tomatoes, and some blender tomatoes and onions. These are some of the ingredients we'll be using. Our pasta is cooked. You don't want it soft, you just want it al dente. So we'll strain that and set aside. Let's just fry our ingredients. That's the beef, beef, beef broth, okay? So next we're going to brown our beef. So I'm just going to use a portion of the onions and some garlic and we will use the rest later, okay? So once we add our veggies, we just stir fry for an extra one minute, not more than a minute because it will continue to cook and we'll keep that aside. Look at how beautiful our sausages look, how colorful, vibrant and green our veggies are looking. Now we're going with the rest of our onions, some um, cut up spring onions <laughs> and of course some ginger, some garlic and ginger diced ginger I'm going to add 
Add some smoked paprika into this. It's going to give it a lot of flavor and enhance the richness of the color. I'm using one hand to hold my camera. So you want to make sure your tin tomato is well fried before adding the rest of your blended fresh tomato spirit. Okay, so now I'll season with some extra stock cube. I'm not adding any salt. Some curry powder because the beef is well seasoned. And of course we got our broth as well. And then the, the the sausages sausages naturally contains a lot of sodium okay oh that broth is so thick <laughs> it's so rich it's so flavorful it's a game changer okay. So we've cooked our tomatoes down until it is well cooked. It took me about 10 minutes. And we're going to go ahead and just add our pasta into those rich, delicious tomato mix. Oh my goodness. Everywhere is smelling so, so good in my kitchen, in my home at this point. Oh, look at that. Mix everything together until every single piece of pasta is well coated in that rich sauce. And I have a lot of excess, so I'm adding a little bit more pasta into that. There's something as too much sweetness. <laughs> okay. So we're going to add some scallions and we'll go ahead and add the rest of our vegetables and we'll make sure that we stir everything until it's well incorporated. Look at how beautiful, how vibrant, how bright. Oh my God, you already know that this is gonna be good, right? Thank you so much friends and family for watching. Keep a date with me in my next video and do leave me a comment down below. Bye.